President Donald Trump says Democratic Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer and top House Democrat Nancy Pelosi have been all talk and no action after they cancelled a planned meeting with Trump and Republicans Tuesday. November.28, Washington, AP, prospects are suddenly looking brighter for the Republican tax overhaul. But the chances of avoiding a government shutdown? Not so much. Republicans on Tuesday held together and shoved their signature tax overhaul a crucial step ahead as wavering GOP senators showed a growing openness. But its fate remained uncertain, and a planned White House summit aimed at averting a government shutdown was derailed when President Donald Trump savaged top Democrats and declared on Twitter, I don't see a deal. It's time to stop tweeting and start leading. Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer retorted after he and House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi rebuffed the budget meeting with Trump and top Republicans. Trump lunched with GOP senators at the Capitol and declared it a love fest, as he had at his previous closed doors visit. But the day underscored the party's year long problem of unifying behind key legislation, even a bill slashing corporate taxes and cutting personal taxes that's a paramount party goal. Tuesday's developments also emphasize the leverage Democrats have as Congress faces a deadline a week from Friday for passing legislation to keep federal agencies open while leaders seek a longer-term budget deal. Republicans lack the votes to pass the short-term legislation without Democratic support. Caption close in a party line 12 to 11 vote. The Senate Budget Committee managed to advance the tax measure to the full Senate as a pair of wavering Republicans Wisconsin's Ron Johnson and Tennessee's Bob Corker fell into line, at least for the moment. In more good news for the GOP, moderate Sen. Susan Collins of Maine said it was a fair assumption that she was likelier to support the bill after saying Trump agreed to make property taxes up to $10,000 deductible instead of eliminating that break entirely. But the fate of the legislation remained uncertain as it headed toward debate by the full Senate, which Republicans control by a slender 52 to 48. GOP leaders can afford just two defectors, and a half dozen or more in their party have been uncommitted. They include some wanting bigger tax breaks for many businesses but others cringing over the $1.4 trillion or more that the measure is projected to add to budget deficits over the next decade. It's a challenging exercise, conceded Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell of Kentucky. He compared it to sitting there with a Rubik's Cube and trying to get to 50 votes, a tie that Vice President Mike Pence would break. Corker, who's all but broken with Trump over the president's behavior in office, is among a handful of Republicans uneasy over the mountains of red ink the tax measure is expected to produce. He said he was encouraged by discussions with the White House and party leaders to include a mechanism, details still unknown to automatically trigger tax increases if specified, annual economic growth targets aren't met. I think we're getting to a very good place on the deficit issue, Corker said.